98% or more of the world's tornadoes rotate the same direction as Earth. When atmospheric motion rotates the same direction as the planet, we refer to the rotation as being cyclonic. That's counterclockwise in the northern hemisphere, but clockwise in the southern. Thus, these typical tornadoes are referred to as being cyclonic. But every now and then, the tornado spins the wrong way. We refer to these deviant tornadoes as anti-cyclonic. Most of the anti-cyclonic tornadoes I've observed were companions of a cyclonic tornado or rotation in a supercell. These rare tornadoes are often not anticipated and can sneak up on observers fixated on the more business end of the storm. In this video, we're going to showcase and discuss these sneaky, anti-cyclonic freaks of nature and their common locations within a storm so that you won't be fooled. Some anticyclonic tornadoes develop as smaller satellites orbiting around a parent tornado. Excuse me. Sometimes they manifest as landspouts in non-supercellular storms. Wow, that's pretty. Most cases I've observed developed in a predictable region of a right-moving supercell. But because of their infrequency, even trained observers may not anticipate these anti-cyclonic threats and thus may get caught off guard. All right, let's do the squeal. You ready for the dry ice squeal? I'm scared. Big piece, here you go. That is the way, that's what I'm after. That's what we're after. <laughs> All right. It's beautiful. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh man, I wasn't nice. rolling that one. Oh, what? Oh, that was a good one. Experimenting with updrafts over dry ice vapor is a great way to demonstrate companion vortices. <gasps> Bam! Notice the striking similarities between our experiment and Dr. Leorf's supercomputer simulation of a right-moving supercell. Pay extra attention to the surging flow coming from the rear of the storm between the two swirlies. We call this the rear flank downdraft surge, or RFD surge. You see a very similar pattern in our vapor NATO experiments. Now let's see what this pattern looks like in actual supercell thunderstorm video. See that clear slot slicing the storm base in half? That's the RFD surge. Now watch the two swirlies form. This is the mesocyclone and most likely place for a strong tornado to develop. This is a well-defined mesoanticyclone and possible location for an anticyclonic tornado to develop. Notice where the parking lot of storm chasers have positioned. If any of them are fixating on the more business end of the storm, they could potentially be surprised by an anticyclonic tornado developing directly overhead. A funnel cloud here. Recognizing these patterns can help a spotter anticipate anticyclonic tornado development. But preventing a blast of positive CG thunder from startling you, not so much. Boom. In most cases, the anticyclonic threat is small, but not always. In 2015, near Simla, Colorado, Dr. Anton Simon and Dr. Tracy Simon documented an extremely photogenic family of tornadoes. Hail's coming. Several of which were strongly anticyclonic. A huge thanks goes out to Anton and Tracy for allowing me to showcase their never before seen beautiful captures. Oh my God, that thing is a work of art. And it's anticyclonic. Long-lived anticyclonic too. Turning left. 
Okay, we're going to um, stop at the intersection coming up, and there are no wires in your way, I think, after that. Well, this thing is a dirt monster. Are you looking at the colors? Anticyclonic marble. There's the other one. Yeah. With two tornadoes and large hail bearing down, a friendly dog wanders up to greet the small group of chasers. Hey, doggy. Belongs to that house. Okay. Oh, look at that tube. Look at that tube. Storm chaser Joel Ewing risks damaging his vehicle to deliver the dog safely to the nearby farm home. Stop belongs to the house, I think. All right, hail. Here we go. Doggy, go to your house. Go to your house. I'll take you down to the farm. Uh, thank you very much, Joel. Yeah, we got two dogs in here already. Lights on? Lights are on. Yeah, you can see the main one. Yeah. Okay. It's about 600 meters northeast. I'm a little worried if something's forming right here closer into us. I see coiling clouds. All right. We're cutting in front, we're punching. Okay, we've got the other tornado right here. It's pretty green. Times zero zero thirty four fifty one. Oh, beautiful! Look at that. Now it's strengthening, strengthening a lot. Loud roar to the northwest. I don't see the other tornado. I just see curtains of rain, and our south turn is right here. I hear the hail. Yeah, time hail to go. Down. Okay. Whoa, big hail. Hold tight. One smash from the road might have been a baseball. We uh, broke our windshield. We did? Yeah, on the lower right. That's all right. Seven tornadoes or whatever we've seen are well worth a $300 windshield. I think we all agree with you. Thanks again, Anton and Tracy, for allowing us to watch your amazing footage. I look forward to seeing you in what, another five, six months? I did a little digging and found there have been several anticyclonic F3s documented on the original Fujita scale and on April 4th, 1981. Shortly after midnight, a violent anticyclonic tornado terrorized West Bend, Wisconsin. It injured 53 people and ended the lives of three. This rare nightmare would earn an F4 rating the most powerful anti-cyclonic tornado ever recorded.